Nine hours and 46 minutes. Yeah. <coughs> Hello. This is my Sapphire Flying Monotype Challenge. I did this because Josh was failing terribly his Emerald one, and I just wanted to do one myself. Uh, but then I figured I'd record it, because... I don't know why. Sapphire is a bit different to Emerald though, so it should be interesting to see if anything differs, and if so, how it differs. <clears throat> I'm going to be recording the Gym Leaders, the Elite Four, and possibly the Archie Battles. At this point in Sapphire, you can have five flying types. Beautifly, Sirsigus, five potential flying types. Nimkeda, Kalo, and Wingle. Uh, Roxanne's a rock type gym leader, so you would expect her to pose a challenge. But Beautifly, Sirskiff, and Wingle all have super effective moves. Oh, and Beautifly got a crit, that's nice, because Beautifly and Sirskiff can't actually one shot this thing. Even though they have four times effective attacks. Can I blame it on their stats or how awful Absorb and Bubble are? Doesn't really matter. They can't do it either way, when well, you could, but, yeah. Doesn't really matter who takes the kill. And then Nose Pass. Nose Pass... It doesn't have the best attack stat. It has pretty good defense, but its special attack isn't that great. It does have the fact that it's only a rock type and not a rock ground type, which means I can't hit it for as much damage, but it's still not nothing bad. I'm gonna, I have an Nkeda Sand attack yet because lowering its accuracy means that my other Pokemon are more likely to survive. I could probably just attack it with the combination of the three of them, but I prefer this way. I think Wingle has Growl at base, and Growl could also be useful here, but I don't think it warrants it. It doesn't even really warrant using Sand Attack. Um, <clears throat> I could have Wingle use Supersonic as well, but this thing has poor attack and really high defense and it's boosting, so it wouldn't do very much. If you, if you are having a lot of trouble, you could have Beautifly use Poison Sting to poison it, but you shouldn't be having trouble, it's Pokemon. It's the first gym leader. In Emerald, she has three Pokemon, two Geodudes, and an Espas, so that really serves as more experience for Wingle. Or Beautifly, if your Beautifly can actually one shot them. Might be worth it then. Uh, Sirskus, as awful as it may be, can still kill this thing relatively easily. And it can take one rock throw, but that's more due to Nose Pass's horrible attack than Sirskus' great defenses. Sirskut's offensive stats aren't actually the worst, but its move pool in Sapphire is dreadful. I think it gets one more attack before promoting... promoting God damn it, they fire as much! Evolving to Mask Rain. And it's probably not even useful. It gets Bubble Beam at level 25, as a Sirskut, but not as Mask Rain. So if you want it to be useful at all, you'd hold off the evolution for three levels. And dragging this thing along from the three levels would be fun. Um, I have a Pokemon on my team, and Kayla and Taylo are the most useful by far, and Wingle's very useful too, because Wingle has pretty great coverage with Surf, Fly, Shockwave, and Ice Beam. Taylo is just a fantastic Pokemon, it's not Starly, but still pretty damn great in-game. And Ninjas gets Sword Stance, which is wonderful. It also gets Shadow Ball, which is also wonderful. And defeating Roxanne gets me Rock Tomb. I think maybe Salamence or Skarmory could use that, but why would I be teaching them Rock Tomb? Anyway, thank you for watching. Next time I'll be taking on Brawly.